Oh, hello there. I feel like making yet another dumbass stopped in the middle of the intersection when the light was red. Hello there. I'm making another video. I'm making another video. <laughs> I will make it to 5,000 videos eventually. Probably by the time Nathan finally gets to Kansas, I'll probably be at like at least 4,700, maybe 4,800 videos. By the time Nathan moves to Arizona from Kansas, Nathan wants to move to Arizona. I don't know why he's so obsessed with Arizona, but he's moving to Arizona. And we're gonna spank each other all fucking day. Folks! Fuck you! Just hold the camera like you hold a newborn baby. making the final driving video driving way out here in the middle of nowhere <laughs> what do you know I'm already coughing less ever since I left that shitty job I'm coughing less already I should be better in a few days hopefully hopefully my life is so unpredictable! So, still doing road work. I won't have to worry about them blocking off this stupid road because they're trying to build an overpass on this big road up here. So they're blocking off one of the biggest, busiest roads that's connected to the second biggest, busiest road in the whole central Arizona, pretty much. They're pissing off a lot of people. So they better hurry up, build the damn bridge already. You have to go the same speed I am. Damn it, fuck off. Yeah, hopefully they'll finish the bridge so I can get to Walmart quicker instead of having to go all the way around to get my booze. tailgate you. No, I'm not going to do that because I'm not a dickhead. <clears throat> oh, for fuck. Cluster fuck. This is such a cluster fuck. Such a cluster fuck. It's such a cluster fuck. Oh, hey. Damn, that is such, that is a piece of shit of a car. Damn. It's like something your parents handed down to you from when they were your age. <clears throat> it's all banged up and it's fucking ugly as hell. <clears throat> unlike, unlike some people out there, I actually take care of my shit. But at the same time, sometimes I don't. I mean, when it comes to my car, this is the only method of transportation that I have. If I don't have this car, then I'm fucked. I get to either be homeless again, or I have to go put up with my fucking parents. I don't want to put up with my fucking parents. I want my car. I want to keep my fucking apartment. Oh, even though at the same time, I don't want to keep this stupid apartment because they keep raising the damn rent. They raised the rent like three times already. It started off at $800 when I first moved in here. Then it went up to $826. Then it went up to $850. Then it went up to around $900. And they're, I'm hearing that they're going to raise the rent again by the time my lease is over, which is around in October. They're raising the rent again. And it's going to be almost $1,000. $1,000 for a fucking two-bedroom? Are you fucking shitting me? So yeah, I really want to move the hell out of here. Before, By the time my lease is up, I want to move out of here. I do not want to pay $1,000 for an apartment. It's making me nauseous just thinking about it. Oh, 
I was paying $1,200 a month for rent at my old house I was living in. Fuck. I'm not paying 1000 a month for a fucking two-bedroom apartment. I had a four-bedroom house on the perfect area. It was $1,200 a month. For, I think the trash and water was free. I don't know, fucking remember. I think I knew I had free trash, damn it. All I know is it's $1,200 a month for a four-bedroom, two-bath. For fuck's sake. Ah. And this is a two-bed, two-bath apartment. And guess what? I have to pay for the trash and the water and for hookers. I don't want to fucking do that. This is a rip-off. This is highway robbery. I'm paying... Because I still... Apartments don't have garages. This, these apartments don't have a garage. So I have to pay an extra 80 bucks a month for storage. So I'm paying a little over a thousand a month. I'm paying nearly just as much as I was for my old house for this stupid apartment, including storage. You know, if I can move into a house, get rid of storage, have a garage to put all my bullshit in, I will be paying pretty much the same. And I could be living back in my old area. Fucking cop is following me. Fuck off, popos. <clears throat> yeah, I could be living in my old area, have a garage, a house. I miss having a house. And I would be paying, what, maybe $50 more than I'm paying right now for this overpriced apartment. And it's in such a shitty area, too. I fucking hate this area. It's right next to Ghettoville. Because, yes, you know, I don't live in the south. But every city, every nice city has a ghetto version. And I live in a nice city that's right next to a ghetto city. Like, right on the outskirts of a ghetto city. So there's a lot of crime over here. In the time that I've lived here, three cars have been broken into. One of them has been stolen. People have tried breaking into the apartments where I live. I witnessed a fucking threesome with two black guys and a fat chick in the pool when I was sitting in the fucking hot tub. Like, who the hell has the nerve to do that right in front of me? But of course, I complained to the fucking to the office and I got them evicted. Fuck them. That gave me nightmares for a few days. Just imagine two anorexic looking black dudes having a, you know, one is in the front, one is in the back, and they're straight up having a fucking threesome with some fat chick in the pool. That's what was happening. And I was like, are you fucking serious? Because that night I was just trying to sit in the hot tub and relax with my girlfriend, and this asshole is pulling out in front of me, get the fuck out of my way! And it just ruined my night it gave my girlfriend nightmares. It gave me nightmares. It gave me very mild post-traumatic stress disorder. I don't need that shit. My life is stressful enough, and that's probably the end of this video because you can't even see my face. But at least you can hear what I'm saying. And I know, too much information. All right. Stay tuned for more videos. See you, folks.